Mr. Barker, don't you ever give up? I can't change you back here, Darren. It's no use. We might as well let him stay till morning. Oh, I don't think that's such a good idea. Well, he'll get tired and curl up in the corner. I don't think so. What the hell he got in here, anyway? Darren? Hmm? You invited him. What? Well, I couldn't say anything in front of the others, but I had to do it. You had to do what? Change Mr. Barker into a dog. <laughs> what kind of a joke is that? Oh, it's no joke. You see, he got very obnoxious. Wait. You're telling me you took a live person and turned him into a dog? Yes. Now, back up. I want to get this straight. You actually turned a human being into a dog? Yes. And that dog is Rex Barker? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, I'm sorry, dear, but I had to do it. You see, he was drunk. <laughs> of course, that explains everything. A drunken dog is better than a drunken man. <laughs> He trapped me in the garden and was making advances. I had to do something. You call that something? <laughs> That's my client. You don't want to even hear what happened. I had the account all wrapped up. What am I supposed to do now? Bring Larry Tate a contract with Parker's paw print on it? <laughs> do you remember any of this? No. Good. Change him back. Not until you listen to what I have to say. I'll listen later. Change him back. Barker practically attacked me. But that doesn't seem to matter as long as you get him to sign with your agency. What do you mean he attacked you? He was very aggressive. You're exaggerating. I am not. Well, so maybe he had a few too many. Any common, ordinary wife would know how to handle it, but not you. No, you had to turn him into an animal. Well, he behaved like an animal. He grabbed me and tried to bite me. <laughs> oh, no wonder. Look at the way you're dressed. Well, I wasn't dressed like this. Well, you are now. Will you put something on? You're driving him crazy. Yeah, you're so darn concerned about him. What about me? Well, what about you? You're just a wife. He's a livelihood. <laughs> and that's all you care about? Yes. Fine. Then that settles it. Please leave this room. Now, just a minute, Samantha. Let's not fly off the handle. Out. This minute. All right, if that's the way you feel about it, just change him back. Never. Samantha. Out! Samantha, will you listen to me? Samantha! Samantha, open this door, do you hear me? All right? Have it your own way. <laughs> Sorry, old man. Yes, Mother, what is it? I just walked in to say I told you so. <laughs> uh, oh, that ridiculous husband of yours certainly is a sketch. <laughs> I almost spit me bodice. <laughs> What's that? Pussycat? What's all the excitement? That little pussycat won't hurt Mr. Barker. You call that a pussycat? What do you call it? A mountain lion. It'll tear Mr. Barker to shreds. Where are you going? To rescue that drunken dog. If anything happened to him, Darren would never forgive me. <laughs> oh, Mr.
I'm a witch. Okay. You a good witch or a bad witch? Come see, come see. Here come the bad guys. Little boy. Little boy. Here now. <laughs> of course, we don't want a freeway coming through this area. Oh. Then on Monday, you're going with us to pick at the construction gangs. I will? Do you have a gardener that works in pajamas? <laughs> We're forming teams of two girls each. Shirley and I are leading picketing teams, and Gladys will stand by in case someone has to sit down in front of the cement mixer. <laughs> me? Why me? We voted. Nobody told me. It's a secret ballot. <laughs> then, of course, you'll help us with the refreshments. And the boys are awfully quiet. Yes, isn't that nice? The boys are always dangerous when they're quiet. Let's check into this. Yes, yes, of course. Nobody asks me. They just say, Gladys, go sit down in front of a cement mixer. <laughs> What are you boys up to? <laughs> there was a witch in here and she tied us up. Yeah. Oh, that'll be enough of that. <laughs> I think we'd better take them home. They're getting pretty tired. Oh, I understand. <laughs> How did three of them get tied up? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. For goodness sake, what is this? Down. Down. Calm down. down. Oh, oh, surely. Right. I just suppose all three of them got tied up. Boys will be boys. <laughs> You are tied up. Who ties up the third? Steven, stop pushing. He's smaller than you are. Shirley, if you had two kids... Just a minute, Gladys. Don't run into the street. What is it? Oh, not so loud, Shirley. What's the matter with you? Well, now, don't yell. I'm just asking you a simple question. Mrs. Clyde, the boys are in the street. Oh, oh of course. The boys are really... <laughs> Steven, I told you not to run. If he gets perspired, he gets the flu. I better take him home. Please come back again another time. <laughs> Abner, you won't believe it when I tell you what just happened. It's Gladys! <laughs> You don't think this is a crazy house? Well, listen to this. Three kids just got tied up in the bedroom. Do you hear me? Three. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you so what. How did all three of them get tied up, Abner? Tell me that. Oh, you don't understand. Two kids are tied up in the bedroom, and one kid isn't tied up. That's normal, but not three kids tied up. <laughs> never mind, Abner, never mind. I should know better than to talk to you. Never mind. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens? Oh, no. Mrs. Stevens is in the living room. Oh, well, I'm here to connect the telephones. Well, go right ahead. <laughs> it was very nice meeting you, Mrs. Foster. Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Maybe next week I'll take you to our decorator. He can do wonders for you. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. Robert! Thanks for everything, Mrs. Stevens. I had a wonderful time. Oh, please come back again soon. Oh, sure, sure. By the way, I let in the phone repairman to hook up your telephones. Thank you. <laughs> to hook up your telephone! <laughs> Me. I'd never get off this couch again if the phone was connected. Gladys, don't get excited. You'll melt the tubes too fast. You <laughs> got cocoa, don't you? Gladys, you called me about two kids who were tied up in a bedroom. Three kids! <laughs> Three kids were tied up. Don't yell, Gladys. If two kids were tied up, I wouldn't have had to call you, don't you understand? Sure, Gladys. Can you believe me that when I called you, the phone was not connected? You want me to call the doctor, Gladys? No, I wouldn't do any good. Why not? Because he doesn't believe me either. <laughs>